I don't think this team has hit its peak yet. I really don't. Um, I think we played well. We played solid tonight. Um, the third quarter, obviously, I don't like to come out and, you know, have six turnovers. That's a good way to lose a lead, and we did. Um, so we can take a little bit better care of the ball. But I think we're trending in the right direction. Um, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just my utter stubborn belief in these women that I just think we're getting there. But I still know we got another year. And then um, KP, we didn't know she was going to be out. Then we saw an ankle injury. Is there anything you can tell us about her status going forward? We're just taking some precautions. Um, you know, she probably would. If if I let her play, she probably would have played. Sometimes, you know, just like Jackie, sometimes you got to hold these players out and and try to accumulate some energy and rest when we can. Um, hers obviously with the, she had, she twisted it the other day. So, uh, you know, just wanted to err on the side of caution. And then just last one for me on Tiffany Hayes, her and her flexibility to go from coming from the bench or starting and just how impactful she's been. What are you seeing from her and just her ability to contribute to this team? I mean, I'm in love with Tiffany Hayes. I don't know where this team would be without Tiffany Hayes. Uh, you know, she is just the consummate team player. I love her aggression. I love her competitiveness and her aggression. She gives us another gear, um, and especially a gear at the rim. You know, KP gets downhill, tip gets downhill. It, it puts a different kind of pressure on the defense. Um, but I I mean, I could go down the line. I mean, throwing her in the starting lineup, throw Meg, throw AC. It's actually a, a skill set in itself because we've been having so kind of many moving parts. And I, and I mean, I told them in our meeting, you know, it might be Meg, it might be AC, it might be, we're, we're going more by matchups and night in and night out matchups, trying to win games than just this steady dose of whatever, um, you know, could be key again. You know, we don't know. We're going to, we're going to throw out the best team we can that, that gives us the best start. But um, tip has been, just a stud. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. I'm I'm crazy about her game. Right over here, Becky. Uh, tonight's attendance was just over eighteen thousand. The team is about to go on the road and hit, play in some bigger arenas. How does this help to get ready for the final push of the season to get out of maybe home court and get your team ready to play in those bigger arenas around the country? I mean, I don't think we pay any close attention to what I, you know, we care that the, the floor is 94 feet, the basket's 10 feet high. Um, Connecticut's actually a little smaller venue, and then you jump to Barclays, um, which is a huge arena. So um, more importantly than the venue, I love that 18,000 people are showing up to cheer on the Aces. Um, I think these are, you know, organizationally, these are good problems. You know, when when we can fill out these kind of venues, um, that's great for the W. That's great for women's basketball. And um, I'm all for filling up big arenas. Becky, uh, Chicago held the 13 points there first quarter, uh, just barely over 30 for the half. Just some of your takeaways from your team from a defensive standpoint today uh, in the W for you guys. Um, just trying to stay solid. You know, I think we're trying to build off of our base. And when I talk about our base, our players know there's some base principles that we don't stray from. And the last two or three games, I would say up until this point, we've been shady on our base. Sometimes we do it. Sometimes we don't. The base has to be so rock solid. And then once that's solid, you know, we can throw in junk. But if we can't be trusted in the basics, we can't be trusted with these other things. So I think the fact that I would say we are being more disciplined and being more intentional about not breaking our own rules. Um, and just being where you're supposed to be at the right time, it, we're starting to build up some trust. I don't think you can build up trust unless you have a track record. And now we're building up a track record of being there for each other, being there for each other. And that's really what I want to build on. The basketball stuff will happen. The being where you're supposed to be on time for each other is huge. And it starts to build this trust, that trust that's, you know, contagious. And so uh, as long as we're playing defense and rebounding, 
I always think we have a chance.